Yo, what is up guys? Blake here bringing you some Max Storm PvP and in today's video I got a new setup for you guys. So recently some changes came to the game with critical and shad rating especially and uh, Basically, I talked about it in the stream But one of the biggest things to note is essentially that crit got nerfed and shad sort of did as well with critical you basically Essentially your crit multiplier is not as high as it was before so instead in the past when you would crit and it would do Roughly on average between 20 and 30 percent extra damage It's gonna do closer to about 10 percent now and then for shad rating you're gonna get shads at a slower rate And on top of that uh, the the shad is more comparative So what I mean by that is that if you do have more shads you are more likely to shad uh, Out shad your opponent, but it also matters less in terms of let's say you have about 20 shads more than your opponent you're only gonna get a shad about a turn sooner than them and when you already get a shad now on average about every five six turns it doesn't make that much of a difference so i thought why not bring back this old robe of mine that i used to love so much and these stats are pretty juicy so let me show you you got 7.9k health which is decent you know what i mean 152 damage which is very good comparable to fire much better than the 137 or 125 that storm was running before depending on what you pet you use you got 47 res which actually actually feels pretty decent for a glass cannon school 33 accuracy so you do have a two percent chance of bit failing but that's only if you don't have galvanic up and it's not pierce enchanted and it's a shad so i wouldn't worry about it too much uh you got 458 critical which again doesn't really matter that much of course every crit helps but you shouldn't be going for crit in your stats you should be focusing more on things like damage health resist uh, pierce that kind of stuff 322 block again, which doesn't matter but 42 pierce, which is pretty nice It's actually pretty fatty and then you got 95 pips, which is a little bit low But it kind of works and especially if you plan around catch of the day, which is an extremely uh, Good spell in this meta. It's okay if you got some new pips and then 114 shad rating Which uh, you know before this update I would have never run because a 114 would have been way too low I would have you know the, my opponent would get two shads before I got one But because shadow rating is more tame now and a little bit slower. It's okay to have slightly uh, lower shad rating and essentially what I did is that instead of using the five-piece goon setup like I would normally I swapped out instead of the dragoon robe I'm now using turquoise robe as you can see the biggest difference is with dragoon um, excluding the set bonus you get 17 shads and you get a bunch of block which is really really nice other than that the turquoise robe is much better you get 15 damage and one pierce and for a school like storm where you typically don't hit with too many buffs base damage is really really important and just getting even one extra pierce makes a difference. So turquoise drop is super good. I've noticed how nice it is in this meta and it's a lot of fun to use. And because I'm not going for the five piece bonus anymore, you can either use the Uber Sciencer theme or what I like to do is use the Uber Amulet because as you can see, it's a fat upgrade. You get a little bit more health, one more resist, a flat socket. It's just nice. So yeah, it's essentially the same thing. You can also use a ward pet if you want instead or like sw uh, switch it up, but I'm just using a standard triple double galvanic and yeah, the stats are all really nice. So. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you guys think about this new meta in the comments. What do you guys think about the changes with critical, shads, matchmaking, all that stuff? I'd love to hear. But I think that Turquoise Robe is going to make quite a comeback because Dragoon's Robe became meta recently in about in the last month or two because shads made such a big difference, because block made such a big difference. And now that they don't matter as much, especially in you know in the last two days with the changes, Turquoise Robe, I think, is going to make a comeback. Dragoon Robe is still really good, um, and I would, you know, you can use it for storm and it works really well don't think you need turquoise rope but it is a fun rope and it's just nice to get these kind of stats and feel like a fire you know what i mean so i hope you guys enjoy these matches if you do uh please drop us up because i do upload new videos every single day and it would mean a lot to me so i hope you guys enjoy it and without further ado i will see you guys in the next one as always peace out sure. guys all right we're going against andrew rose a myth warlord this should be an interesting one let's see how it goes okay so my boy andrew let's see how this goes down I don't know, uh, Myth is pretty good against Storm, if, if they know what they're doing. But Storm is also pretty decent against Myth, if they know what they're doing. So it should be a pretty fair, fun match, honestly. He's gonna go for the fuel. Yep, I knew it right away. If you target if you target the opponent, and it's like, you not, you know what I mean? He's definitely doing that. Like, what else would he do, right? He's not gonna, like, rat illusionist or something. I'm gonna go ahead and discard one of these and just blade. I will hold on to the Scion, though. Damn, bro, this is a game where Loki, I wish I had my loot, but let's just do that. I'm gonna go for the blade, and then I'm gonna stun block, unless he blades. I pulled the Stormlord, but like, dude, he's gonna stun block, man. So I'm just gonna discard that, and then I'm gonna go for the stun block here. That's the move, 100%. Let's see if he starts blading. If he blades right now, oh, that's a myth blade. That's a 45, I'm gonna send the catch. 
It's a 35. Interesting. Do I want to stun block first or just catch right now? Honestly, I probably want to stun block first. Yeah, I probably want to stun block first. If he ends up shielding, he doesn't have a stun block yet at that point. So I'm just going to stun block now and get out of the way. If he does it as well, I might get ga Galvanic here. There you go. Yeah. So it's a good move to wait that extra turn. He might. I doubt he would do a second blade, but you know what I mean? Now I have an extra buff. So I can send the catch, which would be a good move. Put another catch. Honestly, I don't mind. He's blading again. What? Hello? Yo, Andrew. Andrew, my guy. You cannot be doing that, but I'm down. All right. So we're just going to hit him with the Medusa. All right. We're going to hit him up with the Medusa real quick. I'm not quite sure why he did that, but I appreciate it. I do 3K damage and I basically just Medusa stunned him. So, uh, like, a, you know what I mean? Like, a, a, oh my God, that did so much. 3.5k yo this setup is kind of cracked turquoise robe is kind of nuts on the storm dude i'm not gonna lie all right i'm gonna get rid of that i'm not gonna have pips the scion definitely not having pips for that i don't need more than like one blade so now i'm just gonna shield he's about to get a shad he doesn't even have a stun block yet so i could even like elf stun and then play like that you know he's bleeding again yo have you not learned bro this man dude you're actually nuts Okay, he didn't even get a shad. Dude, I might blade this turn. I might blade, but then I'd have to rocket stove. I'm just gonna spirit shield, right? And then he's gonna blade again and try to like king art me. That'd be hilarious. I would literally just, there's no way. I'm going for the spirit shield. I need to pull for triage. I need to pull for other stuff, but this is my best move for sure. I want to get the spirit shields up. It's just, you know what I mean? It's good value. That way he has to like minotaur or he has to king art or something. Discard that, discard that, discard that. Good pulls, really good pulls actually. Oh, oh my amazing pulls. All right, this is where like the deck is working well. You know what I mean? If he tries to art me, I got the triage. He's passing, bruh, I'm gonna take the catch. Dude, you're tripping if you think I'm not going to catch a day. I still have the Galvanic and it takes off a blade. I'm just going to double catch, dude. I mean, I, like now he has no buffs except for the traps. But even then, I'm fine. So I'll just catch again. It's going to do no crit this time and no blade. So it's going to do like 2.1. Like 1800 to 2.2. Oh, yeah, 2.2. Damn, that probably did high end, honestly. The setup is nice, too. With Turquoise Orb, you get really good damage. Like you actually get really solid damage. So now what are you going to do? King Army? I'm going to just triage. And then what? That's a King Art, right? Yeah, I got the triage ready, bro. Deck is working. Oh, this is a nice game. I like this. So obviously now I triage him. And then what are you going to do? He's going to have to shield. And then I'll just shield. And then I can like rocket stove if I need to. I don't even want to rocket stove, honestly, because I'm not going to need to. And frankly, I don't even have to triage right now. But it's my best move to triage. Like, obviously. So I'm just going to do that, bro. So I'm going to send the triage. Uh, there goes his, uh, King Artorius. I'm gonna save myself not even that much health, like, like 1,500, because he only has one trap, not two. So that overtime would have, it would have done 900 on that one and, like, 600 on the other one. So, I'm chilling, bro. I got 7k health. He doesn't even have, I got my myth dispel. Oh, my, dude. It's over, bro. I can literally just elf him and then myth dispel. He's gonna shield right now, right? Yeah, I'm literally just gonna elf. I, he can take the Yaga. You can take the Yaga, man. Actually, I should shield first and then elf, especially since he has a blade. Yeah, I'm just gonna shield. I'm just gonna shield, bro. Get rid of his trap as well. I don't want him getting value off that. At least this way, it makes him have to give up his trap and his Pierce Blade. So I'm gonna do that. And if I need to, I could always go for a rocket. Damn, bro. Make casts are so dumb. My pet spamming. Yo, all the RNG is going my way this game. I mean, I'm also playing good, but like, dude, all the RNG is going my way, bro. That's kind of cracked. What is he doing? Is he shielding? Yo, don't tell me you tower shield again. That has to be a stun block, right? Okay, I was about to say. That has to be a block, dude. That has to be blocked. There's no way. So I'm just going to elf this spell, GG, literally. I don't want to waste an elf, though, unless I have to. But, I mean, that's just clean. You go for the lightning elf into the myth dispel, into the soccer, and that's just Jeej, right? Yeah, that's literally just Jeej. Can I pull anything else? Yeah, I'm just going to elf, dude. Elf, myth dispel, Rusaka, GG. So that was a good game. I think we played that really well. Showing how powerful Kata Day is. Uh, this new setup is really nice, too. I love the stats. You get some nice pierce, good damage too. Feels like I'm actually like putting in work, you know? I do miss getting shads though. Because like shads on a storm is pretty important. But I feel like this still might be meta, honestly. Might be meta. So let's see what he does here. He's probably gonna like, I don't even know, dude. He can't really do anything. What is this, like an Athena? This has to be an Athena. Something like, oh yeah, he's gonna do that, exactly. I didn't even have to use one against him. So we played that really nicely. I just mid the spell him now. And then that's Jeej, man. He's cooked. It's over. Because what, like, you know what I mean? You have to take off the Dispel. If you don't, the Overtime's just going to cook him even harder. I can just Blade or Strike, yeah. So I just Myth Dispel now. That's us All right, well played, man. What is that, a Reliquary? Oh, my God. So my Rusaka's going to do even more damage to him. That's crazy, dude. 
That's actually crazy. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go for the mid to spell right now. There we go. All right, mid to spell him straight away. I'm down. So we went for the mid to spell. Big show and got the 25 on him. There you go. And I'm not gonna fail Pip, right? I mean, I could fail Pip. Yeah, I'm fine. He has to take off the dispel. If he doesn't, I'm just gonna blade. Literally just blade, and there's nothing I can worry about, you know. So let's see what he does here. Oh, he's actually going for a shield. No. <laughs> Yo, you can't do that, bro. You have to take off the dispel, man. You have to. You can't prolong that. You know what I mean? You can't prolong that event. I'm just gonna blade, it, dude. That's crazy. I'm just buffing myself even more. My Rusaka is actually. Let me. Oh, I wish I'd. Oh, I did pull the strike. If he shields again, I'm just gonna strike, dude. I'm literally just gonna strike, bro. And then I'm just gonna cook him. Strike, cook, GG. That's kind of wild, bro. What is going on, man? Dude, don't tell me he shields again. You have to take the spell off, man. Yo, he's shooting again. Bro, you can't do that, man. All right, that's fine. That's fine. I'm just going to strike. Do I get the shad? It's kind of close. It's close, but I don't know for sure. So I'm curious, but I'm going to strike now. Now, now I just, send, I don't want to waste an elf. Like there's, I could literally do anything and I win, but I'm just going to strike right now. What if I don't get the shad here? Then I just shield, but then that's bad too. I got the shad. Yo, should I insane for the one time? Should we insane for the homie? You know what I mean? I feel like, I feel like, dude, he doesn't deserve to get Rusalka. I feel like he doesn't deserve to get Rusalka, but at the same time, like, bro, I just want to dub. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to lose another game. What do you guys want? Do you guys want insane or Rusalka? Insane, no Rusalka, Rusalka. I'm just going to send the Salka, bro. I have to, you know what I mean? I have to send the Rusalka, man. I got to send the Salka, dude. We played that too well. I, I got to just take the dub. You know what I mean? That mid to spell was clean. And then we got two cats a days on him. That was a really good game. So uh, that's how you deal with the myth, I guess. And these stats are pretty fire too. I like them. Crit with a blade. He's got the reliquary. Dude, Mance is gone, dude. Mance is gone, bro. Oh my god. 6.2k to his head. Give me the minus 30. Nice. I'm down. GG, bro. I'll take it. All right, so we're going against Arthur. Oh my god. I'm going against Zandy. Dude, it's just mitts, 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 dude. I'm gonna get tattled, and this is gonna be tough. But let's see how we go. Let's see how it goes down. I don't have my ward pet, which is good, because I would be missing out on damage. So, I wonder what stats he has. I'm guessing he's got the standard like spooky robe setup. So, I don't need these dispels. Catch a day is gonna be very clutch this game. So, I'm gonna play mostly off that. He's gonna stun block right now, which is totally fine. I'm gonna blade instead of blocking because if he basically gets like a blade up and then gets like a reliquary and stuff, I'm down. I'll play around that. So, I'm gonna blade. I wanna, I wanna damage myself now. I don't wanna allow him to blade and then shield to where like I can't get value. You know what I mean? So, I'm gonna go for the, I'm gonna go for the blade right now. Get rid of the stun block, draw another time, see what I can get. So what is he doing? He's gonna go for a mid blade. If that's a 45, I'm gonna send the catch, dude. It's a 35. Okay, I could wait a little bit longer. I might want to blade again this turn. Or actually, I'm just gonna stun block. Yeah, I want to see what he does. I doubt he's gonna shield. And if he does shield, I can always just elf him and then catch him after. So let's just block right now. But he, he's a good player. He's probably gonna shield right now. I doubt there's no way you blade again. There's no way on earth you blade again. But we'll just do that for now. I don't think I'll need this storm man either. I feel like it's kind of just clogging up my deck. Especially if I need to pull for like an elf right now. I feel like the storm man is really clogging on my deck. But he might... Eh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting rid of the storm man. I don't think I'm going to need it. Let's see what he does here. He's going to go for a bubble. Interesting. That's fine. That's totally fine with me. I think I'm just going to... I don't know what I want to do here, actually. That's a good question. I mean, I guess bubbling here is still like a good idea. And then pull for like spirit shields and stuff. Yeah. I could always like rocket stove him. I'm going to get rid of that blade. I'm just going to bub. Might as well. I might get a galvanic. I might get a galv or something. We'll see. But I'm going to do this. I'm going to take his buff away and buff myself. He's going to get the Shad before me. So he's probably using Shad gear based off the new changes. We'll see though. We'll just do that. I'm going to get rid of this. Get rid of the Tower Shield. I'm just going to keep... We're going to have a little bubble war. Oh, he's actually Tower Shielding. That's really good for me. I'll let him eat a Shad. If he wants to eat a Shad, go for it. I could also just Rocket Stove right now. And that'd be a really good move. But I feel like Elf is better. If I'm going to take a Shad to the face. But I don't have an Enchant for it either. Ooh. Actually, Rocket Stove is probably my best move here, huh? Better than Alfing? Yeah, Rocket Stove is better. I'm gonna go for the stove. Reason being is I want to make him give up his blade, basically. If he doesn't have bubble control, that's fine. But I want to do this. So I go for the Rocket Stove. It's gonna do like 500. I'm gonna get a set shield on myself. I need to pull a Surge, though. Because I don't have an enchant for the Rusaka. So unless I pull the Pierce from side, which I definitely won't. Damn, 666. That's good damage. 
Can I get a golf? No? All right, that's fine. So he might go for the ratty, but if he does, I'll take the socket to his face. And it's only a 25 bub. I'm worried about a 45 bub. If he wants to waste his blade and change the bub here, that's fine. I'm down. That's totally fine with me. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna spirit shield here. He's only got a 25 bub. I'm a stack of my pips and stuff, so that's totally fine. I still feel that that was a good move. Not only did I make him give up his blade, but he doesn't really have buffs now. I'm not even gonna change the bubble myself. I'm literally just gonna do this. Yeah, I'm literally just gonna spirit shield. There's no reason for me to change the bub. It's only a 25. I don't wanna... If he wants to keep that, that's not a huge deal. 25 is obviously good, but it, you know what I mean? It's not gonna be the end of the world. So I'll just do that and then see how he replies. That's more important to me, you know what I mean? Like, let's say he blades right now. I'm gonna take the Rusaka, man. Even if you king art, I'll just pull for my triage. I could also catch a day right now. Catch would be a pretty good idea, not gonna lie. Catch would be a good idea. I could also just do this, but then he's just gonna uh, do it again. I mean, why not? Why not just bubble here? And then let's say he does rat illusionist me again. It would be in the same position. I'd just buy time. Yeah, sure. I'll bub now. Now's a good time to bubble. If he wants the 45 back and forth, I'll just wait until I get another shad. I have a shield up, so I'll just wait till I can, like, Rusaka, Rusaka. So now's a good time to change the bub. I might get an aura too. Nice. Perfect. So we have the galv now. I've got a 35 bubble and the galv. Let's see what he does. If he king arts me, I'll send the Rusaka. I don't even need a triage. But obviously, if I do pull the triage, that's better. But I might not be able to. If he shields here, I would elf, yeah. I'm in a pretty good position. I could just elf, mid the spell. Actually, what is he doing? He just set the king art? Bro, I don't think that's a good move. I think you're pretty much... Oh, okay, that's fine. I'm gonna elf him. I don't need to I don't need to rocket stove here. He has zero buffs, so he's not a threat to me. What are you gonna do, Yago with no buffs? I'm fine. He's probably gonna get a reliquary, but even then, only a 25 buff, that's that's the best situation it's gonna get. This way I can elf him, he's gonna change the bubble at that point, but I can still put in work, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna go ahead and do this, I'm gonna elf him now. He's gonna go for the 45 buff, guaranteed. Guaranteed 45 buff, but that's okay, we'll do this. That's why a rocket stove would've also been a good move, actually. Rocket stove, for that reason, could've been better. Because now he's gonna do a good job wasting the overtime, but I'll still have a galv, so I can take the Rusaka. Yeah, I'm chilling, actually. I don't even care if he gets a bub up. I'm in a good position here. I'm gonna do that. If he changes the bubble, I might even just blade or shield. There's a few things I could do. That goes to bub, right? Yeah, guaranteed bubble. So he's gonna bubble. I'm gonna bubble back, right? I don't want him to get a reliquary, though. I gotta think how I wanna play around this. I mean, I could just Rusaka now, though. I have a, like, I have a buff. I can just, I can two-shot him, I think. I'm pretty sure I can just, dude, I'm pretty sure Rusaka is still a good move. Like, what are you gonna do? Take an Athena on me? Like, am I really that screwed if you do? I think I'm fine. I think taking the Rusaki is my best move. I'm not gonna lie, dude. I'm gonna have, what, five pips after that? I could even catch a day him or something. No crit. Yeah, I never crit, man. I'm the storm that never crits, but it's okay. This should still do, like, 4.5. I have good damage. A 3.9. Damn, bro. At least I got a blade back. He might have Dina here. Dina would be a pretty decent move, but we'll see. I'm gonna keep one solar surge. He's dead to one more shadow. That's for sure. So I just gotta play off shields and then like Ellie again. He might Yaga me right now, but if he does, I'll stun the catch. But he could Tatsul Yaga. Wait, that's bad. He could Tatsul Yaga. Oh, he sent that. Thank God he didn't do that. All right. So he's gonna do this. Do, do I kill? Actually, I think I kill, right? I have a Blade and a Galvanic. I think my catch just kills him, bro. He crit that with a 45 bub. That's gonna do like, I don't know, 4K probably. Four and a half. Like 4.8. Let's see. Oh, that did 3K? That did nothing, bro. I'm gonna send the catch. I'm gonna send the catch, dude. I have good damage. Like, why not, right? I have a blade and that other buff. Well, I could dispel him and look for my Sultan, but that's kind of sus, too. I'm just gonna send the catch. I don't die to a Tatsul. And then I could just shield. Yeah, I'm literally... I'm doing it, bro. I mean, why wouldn't I? I've got two buffs. I'm sending it. If I can actually crit for once, this does enough damage to kill, I think. It should do 3.2 if I crit this, right? No crit again? Incredible. All right. I'm down. So how much is that doing? 2.5, yeah, crit would have killed, I think. Well, it depends on the multiplier. I do have really good crit, though. But at this point, now I have to shield, and then... Yeah, that minion's gonna be kind of sus, too. I gotta shield, like, dude, I have to do some weird stuff now. I gotta do some really weird stuff. I just gotta sort of spam spirit shields. He's gonna go for a tower shield. I'm gonna spirit shield. At least the minion can take it off, and I can pull for stuff, so I'm fine. I'm still okay here, as long as that minion doesn't, like, say to him. And even then, I can just dig for Usaka. So I'm just gonna get rid of, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do this, right? Yeah, I wanna keep the myth dispel and all that other stuff just in case. But Spirit Shields here is a good move. He can't Yaga me now. He could Tatsu into something, but he wouldn't even kill me with the combo. And he doesn't get the extra damage from Galvanic either. There you go, I pulled that. I'll just wait till I can do it, literally. 
Like, I'm chilling. I should have kept the Pierce enchant. High key. High key should have waited for the Pierce enchant, but that's fine. What is he gonna do right now? He's gonna want to me? Okay, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. Peer, I'm gonna. What's it called? I'm just gonna shield again. Just gonna spirit shield one more time, and then he's gonna have to double shield while minions actually tower shielding him. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, that's that's bad. All right, so he has two shields up now, which means at this point in time, I need a shield again now. So I'm gonna go for another shield because I have to. This is bad though. This is actually bad. I might lose because of that. I need to pull my Sultan. If I can pull my Sultan, I'm okay because I can just rocket stove Sultan. And that's GG. All right, there we go. He pulled it. Yes. All right. So I'm just going to rocket stove Sultan, and he definitely does not tank that. Even if the minion heals him, he definitely does not tank that, bro. So we're chilling. He could... Uh, he doesn't have a... He can't dispel me. Because if he dispels me, it's not going to change anything. It's probably a yellow troll. That'd be his best move. Minotaur. Oh, that's a really good move, too, honestly. Does... Do, do two Minotaurs kill me? Wait, I might just be dead to two Minotaurs. No cap. Hold on. He crit and landed. Am I dead to another Minnow? If he gets a Reliquary, I might be. Let me see how much that does. Oh, no, I'm not dead. Oh, he got the Reliquary, though. But it's not going to be enough. Even if he crits another one. That's crazy, though. So, I mean, he could Tatsle me. But even if he does Tatsle me, that's fine. That's really fine. I hope that minion doesn't heal him, though. But obviously, Rocket Stove is my move here. Like, 100% Rocket Stove is my best move. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for the Stove. Send the Stove, break out both his shields, and prevent him from either Mysticking or... Yeah, basically just from Mystic. Minotaur doesn't kill, I think. It doesn't kill. So, I'll just do this. Break off his shield, get shields back on myself. He used one earlier to me, so, you know what I mean? It's pretty, it's fair. Or, wait, actually, I don't think he did. I don't think he used one. I'm not sure, though. 157, that's nothing, but he's dead to a Sultan. Got the Galv. Ooh, that's sus, actually. Now, a crit minnow? Nah, 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 crit minnow still won't kill. He doesn't have enough damage. There's no way. And he's dead to the Sultan. I'm, I might insane him, though. I might insane him for the one time, just because I love Zandy. You know what I mean? I might have to. I might have to insane him. We'll see. Let's see what he does here. He's going... Oh, he doesn't even care. He's going for like a blade. Oh. Oh, the Fomori? All right, I'll, I'll insane bolt. I'll insane bolt. I don't know why you're doing this, bro. What the... Wait, the Grandy. Okay, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, he just crit a Grandy. No way. No way, dude. A thousand. <laughs> Dude, that's so bad. Oh my god, that's actually horrible. That is actually horrible, dude. All right, so because he did that, you know what I mean? I'll, for the one time, I'll hit him up with the insane bolt. You know what I mean? I could finish him off with the sultan, but like, listen, bro. Listen, we'll give him. We'll give him a chance. I have a strong feeling it's gonna backfire, though. I have a very strong feeling this is gonna backfire, and I'm just gonna lose, right? Yeah, I can smell it. <laughs> why do I do these things to myself, dude? Why? Why do I do these things? Alright, GG bro, enjoy the rank, you rank fiend. I mean, okay, we both know who won that match, okay?